Y'all ready to continue with the show? Make some noise! All right, this is the only lady we got in our competition. I want y'all to give it up for the Red Squirrel! because of my profession, I have to be like secret squirrel and I have to, you know, have to keep it clean. My colleagues have said I had to keep it clean tonight. So I thought, well, I'll just do something about hygiene. So I'm gonna start off with the men. All right, men, y'all come home, get your breeches off, put on some lounging pants or underwear, and you immediately start scratching it, playing with it, flipping it. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Come on. Woo! Be proud. Now, all you women, look around, because that's their goober hand. Now, I just want you to know, honey, can I get you some ice for your drink? Can I make you a sandwich? Hell no, not with your goober hand. Not going to happen. Uh -uh. Nope. Now, along those same lines, you know, men are always thinking about a little sucky sucky, little <laughs> la, 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 okay? So, I just want y'all to know that, you know, we, we're proud to do it. You know, we love to do it. But, you know, sometimes it gets difficult. Yeah, <laughs> woo! Always got it on your mind, all right? So look, I got my lips done recently. These lips, not these. And my husband, Gaber stayed hard for eight hours. He couldn't even look at me. He's like, John, I I just don't even look at me. Just don't, all he could think was, I want to take a spin on, you know, with, with those, try those out a little bit. Anyway, but, so you go down, and you start, and, and you smell something. And it's, it's called Dodd, day old dick. And, like, shit. In there. And you might see a dingleberry hanging around the nut. You're like, mm, no, no, ain't gonna happen. You know, women have Summer's Eve to keep that fresh feeling. They need to come up with something for men. Call it umpire for, for foul balls. <laughs> so, anyway, now look. That's the man. Women cannot be left out of this, though, this hygiene, you know, lesson right here. So, women, look, you got to keep it trimmed up. You got to keep it looking fresh and nice. You know, I went with a friend one time to the gynecologist. Hell, poof! It looked like a damn afro. I was like, shit! It ain't, it ain't happening. You can trim that thing up. So, yeah. So, Anyway, so look, one, one day, I was trimming it up, kept my damn vulva. Now, not uvula, my vulva. Uvula vulva. Shit, I had to put a damn Hello Kitty Band-Aid on it. <laughs> That's hard to do when you're chubby and you got a gut and you're trying to, trying to get it all clean, fixed up. That's hard, hard to do. Now look, women, we know that we are supposed to go front to back, front to back, front to back, front, whatever it is. What I do is I go a little front, a little back, and I just try to keep that taint clean. Y'all know what the taint is? Taint your coot or taint your ass. That little section right in the middle. So keep your taint clean, all right? So now look, this, if I gotta keep it clean tonight, then that's my, that's my lesson tonight on cleanliness. Now, I know it's St. Patrick's Day, yesterday was, so I just want you to know that I've got a little limit for you. Whether you're a housewife, a teacher, or a Marine, it all tastes better if you just keep it clean. <laughs> Thank you. Give it up for the angry beaver. I mean, uh, the red squirrel. The red squirrel.
Pearl there.